I spoke about the situation before at the border, judging by the number of people that watched the video. People are not taking it seriously. Hopefully, that will come to an end. You will start taking it seriously. Right? All these states that call themselves sanctuary cities, hopefully you will start taking it seriously and you will see that these people that have been put in leadership positions, they don't care about the average person. They don't care what condition the city's in. Right? All they're trying to do is to hang on to power. That is it. Rest assured that is all they want. They do not want what is best for you, your family, the city you live in, or the state you live in. They absolutely do not. Let's jump in. Uh, before I do that, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Of course, like the video and share it with everyone you know. The channel has already been shadow banned and suspended, so I ask for your support. Thank you. President Biden's border crisis breaking even more records. Over a quarter of a million migrants encountered in December. That is the single highest month on record. As you know, border states are so fed up, they've been busing migrants to sanctuary cities like New York. And now four migrants that were on one of those buses have been reportedly arrested earlier this month in a big shoplifting bust. Police saying they stole over $12,000 in merchandise from a Macy's at a mall on Long Island. Cops say they caught the crew at a traffic stop for allegedly using bogus plates on a BMW. According to the police, two of the suspects listed a Manhattan hotel as their address. Mark, there's a lot of questions and frustrations that taxpayers in New York City hold, especially one where they see illegal immigrants. Yes, I have a lot of questions myself. Like, where did they get a BMW from? That, that is the most glaring question to me. They actually have a car and it's a BMW. Right, that happens to be like, I guess, maybe my favorite. I do like supercars, not really on the topic, but you know, if you've seen my videos before, probably you've seen there's a black BMW in the background. All right, so I hear BMW and I'm like, wait, these are illegal immigrants. How did they get a car? But they stole 12 grand worth of stuff from Macy's. So I guess the next step. You know, if they really want to live it up, they're going to hit like Saks Fifth Avenue, the Gucci store, the Louis store, maybe the Diamond District. You know, really live it up. Go get some ice, you know, some nice bracelets. <laughs> this is absolute madness. That are being housed in upscale hotels, for example, around Times Square, being treated much better than the homeless or the incarcerated, both of whom those groups are citizens. All true, uh, but this is why that governors in places like Texas and Arizona have been busing these migrants to places like New York and Washington and Chicago. It's it, the, the biggest problem we have in our politics and why nothing gets solved is because the elites in these cities like New York and Washington never feel the impact of the policies that they impose and the calamities that they impose on the rest of the country. Mm -hmm. And so what these governors have done is they're giving New York and Washington a taste of what's happening in Eagle Pass. The difference between New York and Eagle Pass is last I check, Eagle Pass did not declare itself a sanctuary city. Mm -hmm. New York did. And so if you want these policies to change, if you're unhappy with all these things, vote new leaders in. I mean, there were, I, I'm old enough to remember when, Repo when New Yorkers elected Rudy Giuliani and we had a Republican mayor who came in and cleaned, the, cleaned, the, cleaned this stuff up. If, you, if you're unhappy with what's happening in your city, do something about it. I certainly tried. My vote didn't count, apparently, this, <laughs> this election. Um, Yes, I certainly tried. I tried to tell people prior to the elections that, listen, things are headed on a downward spiral and the leadership needs to be changed. But, you know, people in New York are hard-headed, right? You you have what, what, JOC, what's the name, KOC? Something OC, I think. The, the communist girl, Cortez, right? You have her back in office. You have Kathy Hochul back in office. How? These people are agents of chaos. You really think that they want what is best for New York. They do not. And it is quite obvious. Now, of course, 
there's no there's no nice way to put it. The border system is broken and allowing people to come in en masse. She said 250,000 just in December. So we're talking about a quarter of a million people and you're just parceling them out to different states when America in general has been in an economic downturn. Right? Ever since the pandemic, we have been in an economic downturn. I can see it. Even on the shelves and stores that used to be always fully stocked, you can see it. Even as a person that has sold on eBay for years, you know, just, you know, a little bit of a side hustle. I can see things that, you know, you price them according to, you know, condition and use and all these things. You know, you price them fairly. You don't overprice them. People are not buying. They're holding on to their money. And obviously, this is not the people, the high income brackets. You know, if you have a high income, obviously, you're probably still spending, you know, on the things you want and the things you need. But there's a lot of people that cannot get stuff that they want. Why? Because of inflation. It was super high for a while. Don't forget, during the pandemic, people lost their homes. They lost their jobs. They lost their livelihoods. You know, sole proprietors lost their businesses. You've been in bad shape. And the government has done absolutely nothing to help, you know, en masse people. People with big businesses, yeah, they got, you know, PPP loans and all this other stuff. People that tried to run scams for PPP loans, they went to prison. So the system is a mess. And instead of giving, you know, that money to the border, to border security, to places like that, they're on some type of welfare situation, just handing over billions of dollars to Ukraine. In a war that, quite frankly, does not concern America. I don't care what kind of, you know, interest they have over there. People over here need that money more. As she said, homelessness is still quite rampant among U.S. citizens. Yes, what disturbed me as well uh, was the interviews with the hotel proprietors and owners mm -hmm. who talked about how the food that they served was all going to waste, who talked about and showed photos of the destruction in these hotels that they had to foot the bill for, uh, one that they reported uh, an illegal immigrant got into an altercation, a physical assault of a security guard there, drug use, more and more and more. These are not just about footing a bill. It's also about having extra costs and extra stress at the behest of the federal government and local. Airport. Well, and it's dangerous what you are describing. I, I mean, these men, you don't think they just got this inventive on their own like yesterday. Were they criminals in their previous countries? And look, the drug cartels are among us now. Mm. That jailbreak was real in Juarez. Man, that teeth look crazy. Not on topic, but yeah. They, but, but yeah, when you just bring in people en masse, you're not doing any background checks. You're just letting them in. Of course, you're going to let in criminals among those people. Yeah, there might be some hardworking people that just want to come here for a better life, trying to flee persecution from wherever they're coming from. That is true. But the system is not set up for them to come in, be properly processed, and, you know, for things to go smoothly. It's obviously broken. And it needs to be completely revamped. There needs to be some control. There needs to be. Right? America is a very big place, true. But because it's a very big place, that doesn't mean that you just let people in. What are they supposed to do? Where are they supposed to work? How are they supposed to be processed? How do you actually know who's coming in that's a criminal, who's coming in that's not a criminal? Right. What what do you have set up? The infrastructure that's set up to allow these people to come in <laughs> is obviously very flawed. So, yes, when you have these four guys go out there, they steal all this merchandise, they have a car. God alone knows how they got a BMW. I don't know. Right. 
they, I heard they have cell phones. You just heard about them getting free food. They're staying in some high-end hotel. And these are people that came in illegally. They're illegal immigrants. They're undocumented. And you're just taking them over to these different states and saying, hey, New York, deal with this. This other sanctuary city, hey, deal with this. You deal with this. That is utter madness. And it's chaos. Right? New York is about to be Gotham City. That's what it's about to turn to. You know one of those chaotic scenes from the old Batman movie you see guys, you know, hanging out windows with, with machine guns shooting at police and, you know, Batman chasing some of the Joker's um, henchmen. That That's what it's about to look like. I, I can't believe people are not, you know, seeing it and, you know, could see it from afar like I could see it. The, it, it cannot be maintained. It cannot be maintained and this situation is only going to get worse. They went north. Mm. So the cash that they can get from unloading these goods, is that going to the cartel? Are we, are we looking at, at like some sort of a, a cartel hub that could break open in our country? We better make sure we fund the police. Mm. And we better make sure that that 19 or 20 percent or so, that, that's always been, you know, Americans who serve this country wanting to continue to serve inside the country as civilians, we better hope those men and women still want to be part of our police forces after serving in the military. Mm -hmm. We're going to need their expertise and their protection. Thank you, by the way, to them. I don't think it has anything to do with finding the police. The issue is the border. That's where the issue begins. The police already have their hands full in these large cities because, let's be honest, there is already criminal activity in these large cities that these people are being bused to. It's already a huge issue. You know, crime has been up rampantly and it still is. So when you already have, you know, your own citizens to keep you know, under control and help protect and serve or whatever the case is that, you know, cops are supposed to do. Then you have people that come in that are undocumented add into the problem. That, that doesn't help anybody. Anyways, I'm going to leave that there for now, man. Stay tuned for more. This is, you know, what you signed up for based on the people you voted for. So, you know, you get what you ask for. Sometimes you don't know what you're asking for until, you know, you ask for more. Right? All these Democrats should have been voted out. And this is my city, so I know. Live here. Been here. And I've seen, you know, how it's just, you know, it's not getting better. Anyways, man, subscribe to the channel. Like the video, of course, share it for everyone you know. Till next time, I'm out. Be safe out there. Peace.